Hey guys, welcome to Drupal Learn. Today we are going to see how to create a tweak file for a new content type. So tweak files are generally used for design related purposes. If you have a lot of elements in your page and you would like to do some designing, including a lot of HTML tags and stuff, I would suggest using a tweak file. Before watching this video, I'd suggest watch my previous video on how to install a theme and how to create a sub theme out of it. Now let's get started. To begin with, we will create a new content type. Let's name it as blog. And by default, every content type will have a body field, which is nothing but some descriptions. We'll add a blog image. give continue these are some settings related to the fields like you need a default image or do you need how many number of values and stuff say field settings and there are a few more settings such as what needs to be the max and min resolution of the image that needs to be uploaded what is the maximum upload size and do you need all field and title field kind of stuff so let's go ahead and save the settings now let's create some sample blog contents. I've already installed Devel. Using Devel, I'm generating some contents. We don't need 50. We'll just stick it to maybe five for now. Click on generate. So it has created five nodes. Let's go to content. As you can see, there are five blog nodes. Let's pick something. So you can see here, we have a lot of text and we have an image. Now in order to do the resizing, we don't need a lot of text here. We'll just stick it to some maybe uh, 600 or even 700 words. And we don't need this label either. So let's go ahead and remove one. Let's go to content types, blogs, and these are display related settings. So open it in a new tab. And as you can see here, first we need to uh, trim the body characters instead of the default format there's an option called trim choose this it will trim to 600 characters so we'll just leave that as it is and we don't need the label for the blog image so we'll just move it to hidden hit save and then come back to the page ah there you go so now oh 600 seems to be less let's just put it more Let's just put it to some 900. Okay, now we have fair. And uh, the image, we are actually rendering the original image, which is fine. So now we would like to you create a tweak template for this content type. Now let's go ahead and inspect what default tweak is being rendered currently. So as you can see here, the article starts from here and right above it, it says begin output from. So this is the tweak template that is currently being rendered here. And these, the line about to it, these are the possible suggestions you could create for this tweak. So you could create a tweak in any one of these names. 66 is the node ID in that case it will affect only this particular node which we don't want we want the tweak to affect for every node of this particular content type in that case we need to pick this node block full html or node block html so we will choose there's a difference between these two which we'll come to later now let's pick node hyphen hyphen blog dot html dot tweak now how to create this file we can copy the original file and rename it and put it in a custom theme let's go ahead and do this so we are in our site folder we'll go to themes continue bootstrap templates node inside node.html let's copy the entire folder 
skim back put it in our custom theme elan templates paste it here let's rename this as suggested in here node hyphen hyphen blog dot html dot trick now let's come back to the page and flush the cache whenever you create a new tweak file make sure you flush the cache so that the changes are being reflected now in order to show you that it is being reflected i'm going to duplicate this page inspect it here As you can see still no dot let's go ahead and flush the cache once we flush the cache let's go ahead and inspect okay now you can see begin output from themes custom elan templates now node hyphen hyphen block that is tematic so now we are sure that our new quick template is being picked up from our custom theme elan so this is how you create a trick file and now let's go ahead and change some of the field settings inside the trick files let's go ahead and open this so once you open the tweak file just change the format to html now when you look at the tweak file the opening these as you can state here these are available variables these are already inbuilt variables that are readily available for this tweak file which you can use it at any point of time so this is where it actually starts and the thing that we are more concerned is the content variable the content variable is the variable that renders all the fields together in the page so the body field the image field and any other additional fields that you're going to create in future all this is rendered by this content variable now in order to access the individual variables we need the machine name of the variables now we have two fields one is a body and a blog image as you can see here in order to access the individual variable we just use a dot operator inside our twig so it's content dot body and content dot field underscore blog image now let's go ahead and even apply some styles since we use bootstrap we'll just create a row first and uh, close the tip we'll just uh, apply even Call MD6. Just move this. Here. And we will create a div. Put it call MD6. We'll close the div now the way the page should appear is taking up equal space as you can see here if you go ahead and inspect the DOM so this is taking column d6 so you get a nice two column layout of your current page so Today we have seen how to implement tweak file for a content type. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel.